Tens and fifties and hondos. I'm, I'm in here going through some half work wheel travel rap right now. Yeah. You hear me? What you say it again? Hey, I'm in here messing with some tracks right now in the studio. One of my guys. What the fuck? He from the city. He doing time, but he sending me records from prison, and I'm finna put him out there. You feel me? That's yeah. right. That's hard. What play that? We can't see you. You can't see me? Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> big old Big old C. Before we get started and you introduce yeah. yourself while you work on your picture. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I was e saying I was in here like this, writing and doing some e playing around e with these beats and everything. Boy. Hey, Yo, your verse for the day since it's James Thursday, Let January write, one nineteen. Jeremiah. James. <laughs> Jeremiah. Jeremiah. One nineteen. Oh, yeah. Jeremiah. One nineteen. One nineteen. Yeah. 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 That's good. So they say they will fight you, but they will fail. For I am with you, and I will take care of you. I, the Lord, have spoken. Man, you picking them out, boy. You, you really like you the deacon of this. You the real, hey, boy. You, you, hey, hey. You a heaven sent though. See, you a heaven sent. You say I want to do something for the city, and you did it. And and and. Yeah, the, all the, there from the beginning. Yeah, I, I, I want to give you. <laughs> I want to give you <laughs> flowers now. You that's, feel me? That's hard. Purple roses, boy. I got 30 30? questions for you. We finna get okay. in. I got you heard right. me. So we Ooh, we wild, oh, oh. wild touched on some stuff last night. I've been I've been watching I've been watching everybody the other day. You feel me? On that, but damn, but yeah, but um, with that said, um, how long have you been in? Introduce yourself, see, my bad. Introduce my yourself. name is Mr. Creek, but I'm really Lewis Lucian, you know, you know how we fall into these uh, uh, uh alter egos or whatever they want to call them, but I'm Mr. Creek, little Louie, for those who know me from the Roseland area. You know, we they we we the ones kind of like branded that hunters thing. We was doing our thing, dipping and dipping. But I'm, I'm really that hunters. I'm from that hunters. But you know, by way of my that grandfather, hunters. you know, I can't leave him out. That better. We got street names with him. Him flowing through that West Side Metropolitan Baptist Church. You know, pops. Okay. Is that's how you wind up being a uh, conservative vice lord representative on in, in the wild hunters opposed to a stone no, or, or oh you know I came I came up with Gooly them baby C shorty V now so you know they them the, them the elders you know well Huey okay. now rest in peace but I just I was I was rotating you know we came in the demo like Lord said Big Benny said the vice lord of yesterday ain't the vice lord of yes today ain't what it was yesterday and so when we were when we was learning these laws and, and demonstrating we wanted to be the vanguard of the people you know and we was like, like 
man, we joining this this army. If if, if we yeah. if these people try to hurt our community, we got to be, cause like like brother said, I I want to say that one brother I was watching, they we had greaser gangs running up on on us in the early nineteen fifties. They didn't want us in these communities, Lawndale, that was Princeton Point. Park, or oh, Haiti. Benny Lee, cause yeah Lord yeah Haiti. Haiti, yeah brother yeah. got brother yeah. no he. He got that knowledge, yeah. boy. He understand the history of, of what we coming from, and so these movements, these movements with the disciple movement, the the uh, you know the stones. That's what we really was from the vanguard, be, be, being the vanguard of our people. So when I read the demonstration, I was like, I'm joining the army. It felt like, you know, I was. It, it was better than the United States Army to me. So you're like, no. Yeah, I might have I might have been eight years old when I got introduced into the demo. Wow. So if that's what it eventually made you start the group name C Fluid. Yeah, so you know, I like I was one of them young ones that came into the demo and I was all into the, you know, the four bases, then it started going into the, you know, the the big books. They say, hey, boy, you better be knowing these books and knowing them books. And I said, I said, we're we going to be C Fluid. That's going to be our group name. C Fluid. And then y'all went overseas and went yep. gold, huh? C Fluid. How y'all do that? So when I left that demonstration, when I left Shy, I left Shy, man, right when Brat and them. And everybody, one of the brothers was talking about uh, Jack the Rapper and everything, and we was we was into it. The overseas. Okay, so let me get to it. Right, we get we we leaving shot early nineties. We already see fluid, but we we into this rap thing because I'm praying to God. I'm like okay. I'm running away from Case in the shy. My mama, little yummy, just got killed now you know that was the hunters you know that was like one of our little stories and it hurt our community and so my mama was like i'm gonna be Hold on. real history too yeah yeah see i go back in the let's 80s with this boy for let's real get it. Let's, let's get it let's get it and so i left when when i seen brat and i seen outcast and them doing their thing down here in atlanta i said i want some of that you feel me and so so being conservative, uh -huh. so you left, left the A in the early yeah. 90s and moved. I left, I left in the 90s. Like, I know oh, born so home Carlos. Yeah, okay. they call him Shabby Low, but his name uh -huh. born home Carlos. Mm. Oh, it was my yeah. senior year at Corliss. I was like, do I? I'm, I'm about. I, I already called a case. Do I stay on Airbrook or do I? take take this new ticket my auntie was was the president of the teachers union down here in atlanta so she had all the plugs so i said let me take this atl ticket speed right. speed and ball right. up i started meet everybody who was coming to me i'm already rapping i'm singing in church i'm playing band at corners so i'm already musically inclined okay that's where the singing yeah, yeah. From. That's where the singing come from the church. That's crazy. So, cause you know, you to me, you you got you come across like uh, Chicago bad. <laughs> I take that. I get every day. Is you twist the brother? I said no. He my brother, but I ain't. You know what? <laughs> Next day, I, every day I be riding around and say you look like Twister. But I take badass. I take badass. So how did y'all? Oh, cause I know me and uh, me and Lito just got done talking about how it get it's it's hard for the West Side. So how did you being from out south instead of selling in that time or going around with T now or say any of them in that realm? How did y'all wind up cracking shit off overseas and ultimately going yeah. gold? So over there? when I moved here, ATL early nineties. They had a bunch of these artists that was like bass artists. Um, 
Raheem the Dream, Kilo, all of these, these brothers was going gold and platinum in they own in, in Georgia. They didn't they didn't even have to tour out of the state because it was like a mic mm. mic macrocosm to a microcosm. And so I sat yeah, there and how- learned that game. And so Okay. So uh, Raheem plugged us with our, some UK people. He had he had the the industry looking at him, and, 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 and we was selling our music on tapes in the street. Wooty wooty. Long story short, he plugged us with a uh, Notting Hill Music Group. Right. Yeah, Hill. yeah, Notting Hill Music Group, and we we okay. sent them an album, and it worked. And they sent that thing. Overseas, and y'all wind up going. Yeah, gold bro. Yeah, what was in gold over there, but still trying to tell people in the states or Atlanta or Chicago, like, hey, boy. Yeah, was that shit? was the hardest what part was- because at that time you had broken them, crucial conflict them. You had all the shy acts. They was coming strong, like you said, West Side was right. now they act crazy. Crack. You know, so when back when they all crack. Cracking over there, they yeah, yeah. So it we, gold over there, that, gold that, over that, there is a hundred thousand. That's that British flag. So, but at the end of the day, y'all sold the one hundred thousand. Yeah. Okay, with that, so, so was y'all ask Cap a C-Sack? BMI. So y'all did. I deal with BMI, BMI, BMI so BMI. long, church. You know, cause they. They was the uh, society that was the earliest because they had all the the uh, rock bands and all the uh, country. Right, mm-hmm. they did. But my but my right. mentor was right. one of the Barkays, Bubba Bynum, Mark Bynum. He, he, you know, he like my godfather when it come to music. Jazzy Faye, did he play with the with the Barkays too? So that's so you come through, yeah. Wow! See, yeah. I never knew that. That's yeah, hard. that's cold. Girl, yeah. Voice. So when they sh- when they showed me the publishing game, one time, one one night we was in the studio, and B- Big Bro Elder he came in there and shut the everything down. He said, "I want to ask y'all something. Do y'all know what publishing and copyright is?" And we like, man, we doing these records. We ain't into no none of that. He said, "We ain't doing no more records tonight." He uh, shut us down. Uh, uh, yeah, wow, wow. So he shut y'all down until y'all found yeah, out. He made us do the oh, send yeah. it in. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that was the yeah. way I was able to get, find out what was going on with my music. How many people was in that wave of that, of that teaching with you? About five of us. Because he he came from the era when Barquets and them, they was famous and touring overseas. They didn't even but they, they didn't get no money. They because they they publishing was gone. They were just found they, the bar. Yeah, came. they was from the Memphis side of music. So the Memphis X was the, the, the down low. Hold on, hold on. See, you just said the Barquets found out they didn't have they. Publishing and when you came down, you found out now you're working with the Bar yeah. K's. Bubba Bang. That ain't Mark- that's no small thing. Huh? That ain't that that's a very big thing. Yeah. That's, a lot of, that's amazing. But God just that's- put me in the right places, man, you know. And so that's why when I work with artists, that'd be the first thing I I pass that along. Cause that's the worst thing you so could that- be doing your music so- and ain't getting paid for it. That's hard. So making sure yeah. they got their publishing set. When they come to me in my right. little studio or we go to the studio, or we even we go to a bigger session, stank on the uh, patchwork or one of these big ones, I be saying like, bro, don't go in there pressing no buttons and you ain't got no publishing, you ain't your music ain't copyright. Yeah, right, right. Mm-hmm. That's hard. That's, so that so that's 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 um Hold on, let me see. So, how did how how did how did see how do y'all at C Fluid even maintain that um that old school sound like that? Cause I'm listening to uh 
the 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 twenty side the twenty eighteen album y'all did the mm -hmm. king size and I'm like shit sound like it was dropped in ninety it was dropped in ninety seven so once I I got the full rights to all the music I put it back out on the stream uh, it, uh, it came out in ninety seven well, see that okay. law it's say it's say ninety nineteen ninety eight y'all got a plan that, for that. That's the that's the king size album. See fluid king size you talking about. Yeah. It came out in ninety eight. So, so you know, we we, so we, we we said Chicago finally living universal indeed. That was what C Fluid meant to us. Chicago finally Fluid. living universal indeed. That's hard. C Fluid yeah. repping that so we, thing like you that. know we that's we ain't had we ain't had the gang bang because we was we was just putting the nation to the world, you feel me? And, and that's how that's we felt hard. about yeah. it, you know, palms up. But I never I never gang bang. I grew up on Airbrook amongst all the gangsters that you could think about fool them and strub them and I can go down the names oh. of them hunters. You know how we rotating them hunters. We got we in them homes. We ain't in them buildings. So so, so see, how did it feel? representing the hell out of chicago because this this album got so many it's such a representation of chicago right so how does it feel represent chicago how y'all was actually having somebody out overseas loving it and supporting it but your people spitting in it it felt kind of you know at the same time that I, my city wasn't really in tune with what we was doing, it felt good because I was able to do some touring. I was able to meet some great people that I got contacts with to this day. And a lot of people don't okay. don't know. That's how I, I still rotate what I'm doing right now. So, so That's cold. So, I, and, and it was like what Wick Wild said, I, I, ain't, I never was pressed about it. You know what I mean? I, I just... Mm -hmm. Always been in love with music. Humble about it. You just humble about it and did your thing and just know you got yeah. the formula to make sure this Yeah. Selling. Okay. So when it's selling like that, like now what giving you your sales? Uh, like, because I know now you selling the USB. So device. yeah. So what happened was, was after that came from the, 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 um, no, before you answer that, how many plaques y'all got to see fluid? It's a lot back there. No, that's see, just one. Out. That's just one. I never, I never okay. earned another plaque because I'm going into that story now. I'm so asked then. Why not? Why not? Um, because I went straight to what they call green mode. I bought my homes and my stuff off of selling my music out the trunk. Like I was one of the first ones. That had a uh, credit card swiper through CD Baby. I keep it just as a reminder. But this is what I was doing. So we would get out and sell our music, go Super Bowl, Mardi Gras, All Star. We 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 was even we wasn't even worried about it being registered with the barcode at that time. We was just chasing that bag. You know what I mean? That's and, cold. See. So it's like, so how did that split up? Like, you wanted to go more independent, and then bro, uh, he wanted to go that route. Bro, 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 <laughs> my brother, you know, he he a conservative. He one of them street lords, you know. He, yeah, that's my brother, my right? brother, my real brother. They call him blood yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah. So, but hey, you and your blood brother did this for the yeah, bro, started. yeah. We gotta, you gotta, we gotta stand on that. We gotta step out there like that because at the end of the day, it's another route. Because as Lido just said in his interview, we don't always know. He like, damn, it look like the West Side getting cut out, or damn, why we ain't in there, so on and so forth. Or certain people from uh, Chicago, and it's just like you're a living testament that you can not only put your work together. But go to another market and actually have a high level of success. Yeah, right? Bubba told me he said, "Lou, they call me Louie in the hunters." But he said, "Louie, he said 
You got a million followers that want to listen to you. You just got to go out there and find them. Damn. He said, don't, don't anticipate everybody from Chicago to love you. You know, mm. they, 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 they knew you in elementary school. So it's, it's sometimes it's too good for them to believe it's true. But mm. go out, there, go out mm. there and get them people that love you and say, boom, I'm really rocking with so I wanted to be hands on with my fans. So did that did that ease the struggle of switching from the group to the solo? Yeah, it did. Okay. My brother caught some cases, you know, down here in Georgia, and it kind of did some things. And you know, we get, we good to it. He he rocked with me to this day, but he just not even not really into the music full fledged, like yeah. you know. Okay, mm. that's all right. Well, how, how do you um? Um, so keep strong. So, Cadillac Cognac. What you think? <laughs> Cadillac Cognac. Yeah. That was the that was the yeah. single yeah. off of that album. You know what I'm saying? They had that. You know, you know that's us, Cadillac and Cognac. You know, it's shot town. We gonna. That's hard. Hey, but so key, we played the verse, but we didn't tell them right on how. So allegedly. Native made yeah. that beat, right? So let me tell let me tell y'all. So the song uh we did, uh the uh the uh what's the name of it? uh putting in work. The original joint, Native, who's from what what native he from? Native Kentucky, beat? Louisville. Which is from Kentucky. Which is Static he Static knew. Major, him and Static Major came up together. So when Static when Static okay. passed, he was the one who seen right. the the uh you know the uh all the accolades other than his wife you know his wife but they grew up together and they was producing together making music so native native you know he always blessed me i met him through another brother right here in atlanta and we just became tight and he he blessed me with tracks all the time man so so you you get to be he couldn't find the original beat. I mean, I did the hook. He yeah. had it. Did the hook in the verse. Yeah. He sat on it. Then, okay, we came around and started doing the LSD album. And I'm like, look, we got to use that because it's all we need a wild honey <laughs> representative. <laughs> you, you, you like a, uh, you like a, a energy, a force that like a mat, you like a super magnet. Man, I'm a businessman, like conservative. You feel yeah. me? Like, and I'm like, nah, we need that. So let's do it. But he couldn't find yeah. the beat. So I had a Sendo whip up the new one. Right on top of it. Right on top of it. We get the new beat, gave him his co production credit, and still doubled all the way back around and put the whole song out. Who, who does? That. That's how you do business. How you do business? <laughs> it's got to be done correctly. Every, that's, that's the thing I like about you. Everything you say you gonna do, you do it, and that's why the people, all these people and these legends and these people, sluggo, these. That's why they rock yeah. with you. That's why I rock, I rock with you. I, I, I repeat that. Everything that's great, but that did play a role, and why Belo gave me that second song. That's so I didn't peep it because you know I'm working. I'm just You're a people am, well, worker. Yeah, I received that. That's hard. So how do you balance fatherhood in your artistry? How do how do how do how you doing that? How did you, I just like, you know I met my wife on tour. I met my wife. I met my wife on tour. You met your yeah. wife on tour. Uh, she from the city. She from over there, Little Folly Park, West Side. You know what I'm saying? That's hard. But she was up in Madison, Wisconsin. So that so that's uh, really y'all theme song. <laughs> yeah. I was up there touring and Loon was up there. Loon was living in Madison, Wisconsin. A lot of people don't know. But I was up there going from state to state. You know, we had this little tri state area we were in. Um Boy. Yeah, yeah. He was living up there before he caught his case. He, I guess he was kind of trying to lay low, but he was up there in Madison. Oh, you was up there. 
then with Loon. When oh yeah. Up. But we had this little we had this little tri state we would go to Michigan, uh, 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 Wisconsin, and Iowa, and then hit back to the shy and come on back down to Atlanta. But I was up there and just keep. How long y'all do that? Oh How man, we might have run that circle for about three, four months. Go sell that music. Bop, 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 bop. That's something you you were doing. You you and Loon was uh-huh. doing. That's something you. you was no, down no, with I just with I I used to hang out with him up there, but I had a whole little crew. We oh. was called the Chosen Ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and we uh, was, you know, we do that positive right. hip hop, you know. We, we so do you, harder, do you you go harder that you got a son or for your, the, the daughters? Which one is it in the middle? Which one? It's them daughters, man. I'm gonna tell you, them daughters. Ooh, I mean, my hard. baby boy, he he three right now. I finally had a son, but man, them daughters they they be on my heels. They be saying they'll tell you yay or nay. You know, I got one graduating Real. high school. She be like, no, nah, daddy, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, pop, that's it. That's, cold. that's, that's you, cold, that's Yeah, cold. that's me. That's At the end of the day, you've been on Yeah, yeah, yet? yeah. When y'all was getting them awards, you went over there tour. I've been all over. Just so man, tell us that's, tell us the goddamn story. That's where the money at. at. You Germany, the what, UK. <laughs> You know, even down in the islands, Jamaica, that's where the people yeah. who ain't biased to the what's, you know, they, they ain't asking you, is you from the West Coast or are you from the, they saying, hey, man, and I want, and give me two. <laughs> so when I was, I was doing that tour, tour, I would be selling that music and we had white girls be like, oh my God, let me get one for Becky. And, you know, that's, you oh, make twenty thirty dollars selling three CDs. You know, did I win any awards? N- no, the 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 label fell loose. So the label Black Jam, which was distributed by um, uh, Notting Hill, folded. But they had they had uh, the acts on that Biggie Biggie had albums with Black Jam. Um, mm-hmm. It was a bunch. Of artists over there, um, Big Daddy Kane. He was on. Yeah, yeah. When it came, when they they had they was a distributor that had uh, Notting Hill was the publisher. Man, that's cool. They got a brother oh, from uh, 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 the UK. His name is Black Twain. He was on there. He big over UK, but you might not know him in the states. Mm-hmm. I never heard of. But the label folded. And so it left us with once again me going independent. So I started I started doing the barcoding then and started, you know. So you it's just no, I'm from the master P. I'm from the mm-hmm. Alpha Man, man. one year I looked up, I said, Man, we sold how many CDs? This that this thing started to become and that's the thing I want to talk to the artists about. Don't be scared to sell your music. We like you told bro on the last uh interview, you said we in this big business to sell records, man. We you know I was praying to God to right. help me to put these dope packs down. I want to sell music, you feel me? And he blessed me. Ain't that correct? <laughs> that's great, but that's the truth. So who else you done work with, bro? Like okay. Like, man. And, and on your so on, when I started doing my own thing, thing you know, outside the label, uh, mm-hmm. uh, I started working with artists like Big Mike, Ghetto Boys. Me and Bro locked in years ago, man. And, and uh, Young Ralph looked like money, smell like money, fade over DTP. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know some of everybody because. During them years of me standing in front of the club selling my music, I would be selling to the VIPs. Jeezy them was selling their music. I'm selling mine. You know, that was a thing here in Atlanta. You know, Ludacris selling his on the corner. Yeah. I'm on the next corner. Getting out and selling Get your shit. We were standing in front of Velvet Room, and one night Pippa Ken walked up on me and said, man, them CDs, them, them your hoes. 
Now, Mr. Free was my friends, but he said, I said, what you mean? He said, them CDs make your money. They don't give you no problems. And they bring the money back. I, I said, damn, he put the whole pimping game in on CD sales. I'm like. That's hard. That's yeah. cold. That's all cold. So oh, I would get the, I would hey. get little jobs to work for artists like like uh, uh um Juvie. I used to sell Juvie m music because they would have all these people around them, but nobody's selling the music. That's the worst thing you can have an entourage that can't help you sell your music. All them niggas. He getting 20, 20, 30 niggas that. in the club, but ain't nobody helping them sell his music. They just getting in looking good. I said, give them to me. I. He was paying me half on every was CD. Was it just you, or did you have a I street, had a street team, team. with you? Mm. I had a street team. So how many people you had with you? How many people you had with you? We, we, we was a five-man crew. So we would go Super Bowl, mm. Mardi Gras, All-Star. We would hit all the, the big ones. So what's some of the artists you and that crew? With? That's, yeah. that's King Size. Yeah, insane. I started King Size. After I seen that, I started doing promotional stuff and I'm like, so who are y'all uh, who are y'all done, done promotions for do like i said juve pippin ken he had two he had two pimps he was pushing at one time paper chase remember paper chase rest in peace. yeah okay they couldn't sell their music oh, so so ken say hey and pimps up old down he'd be like creep Hey, look, we get half on these CDs, dropping boxes off. So we would sell them CDs along with our CDs. And that was paying five road money and hotel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Juvie was so yeah. good, good. Him and uh, Steve Solomon, you know. Steve Solomon is a uh, AG cousin, the, the Ethiopians out here in Atlanta. So they were AG and entertainment. Okay. Okay. They, okay. they, they the right, Ethiopians right. out here. But they used to park cars and we would sell music along the valet parkers and shit. And they became big time promoters. Still getting it in. Yeah. But 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 but, but Steve was MC8. I'm listening. How did record with MC eight come about? Just meeting and greeting. You know, through all of the years that I've been doing this music, I met so many people. Like I remember Jeezy when he was selling his music. And Meech put him in the game. You know, Jay, they know him. We know him as Jay Jenkins. You feel me? Look, right. Jay, right. he was out here with his music. And then the, the machine came and that, that was, it blowed him up. They had the paper and it was like, but you know, that was the Shine Detroit crew. So we, right. but you was I was right, right there, there in, that. in that. I was right there in that, you know. I know them all. Meet you with CB and say, Creek, yo, stick with it and give me a hundred dollars for a CD. Hey, baby blue, give him another hundred. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Big me. That, yeah. Man, you got to tell them yeah, stories. Man. When Boy, they see me gotta... with Meech and people be, and uh, all these people, that, that's, I mean, I built relationships with these people because I sold music to them. Never nothing. I'm never, 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 never. trying to get in your camp. I don't need to sell no jeans. Big boy gave me fifty dollars for a CD. Hey, creep! I see you, baby. We kicking it down in, you know, Miami. Here it is. So it just, it's cold. just all of us as regular people. That's what I like about the Lord Stone Disciples demo, the album, the memo. Yeah. All of us as regular people. We just trying to we sons, brothers, brothers, fathers, man. We, we brothers yeah. coming from a side yeah, movement. Yeah, I went through cold. four generations cold. of selling music. Now I'm on these, Lord. Now you on? I'm now. on these now. Hey, now. these these my dope packs. When they cut, when they say, "What you selling?" I'm selling dope, nigga. This is dope, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Real packs. Packs. You know, yeah. on a Thursday hey. night, I might sell 40 or 50 of these and come back to the crib with the bread. So, so what keeps you so in that you want people to hear you? That's the word. That is that what gives you the fuel to still keep pumping and still keep making sure people hear you? 
I just like, I, I learned something about the music industry. The the artists want to feel like they can talk to you, can touch you. Not you standing behind the velvet rope at the club and they, they didn't bought your album, but they don't know, you don't know them. You don't want to know them. Just keep buying and we over here. You took a liking I to did. that. Other I watched Too Short with that though. If you know Short and his brother Wayne Lowe, they, they don't, you'll never see them with no bodyguards. They sold their music out the trunk and they regular people. Short of shoot you in the pool and out, try to yeah. out shoot you, you know. Hands and kiss mm -hmm. So that's how I, I get my fan base. People be like, I know Creep because I got one of his. I, I bought it from him. That part. So now we need to go and get them QR codes so soon as they go ahead and, and you on your yeah. hustle, we got the LSD. I got you. Now, so when you out crying, we out go ahead and let them scan that LSD. You got the street team right here. LSD, I'm going to get the streets. This the first. First leg of us making sure we promo. We finna I'm gonna set their ass, ass up down in Atlanta, boy. They going I'm gonna wow. put a post on every corner. I'm gonna be in every front of I'm every club. Coming with posters, coming with everything. In, in, in the five, just the first leg. Uh, yeah, it, it's uh, yes, wow. sir. I'm donating my services on that. Cause it's been, we good. It, it's been we, it's been overdue. Like ATL, they stuck together, fine. you know. They, they 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 blow they city up. But when we get our, when we get our artists, got a, uh huh. And we finally got an album oh. where we all. Oh play. my gosh! I hope and it don't start up here, man. It. I I want to see this thing. We gotta prove it. We gotta prove it. It's yeah. up to us to prove it. I'm out That's to prove it. Yeah, it's up to prove. So give us five songs. You got to get in the house. Man. Gosh, five of them. It's your turn. Sit in that seat. And them five songs you're going to play for God. Stevie Wonder. Love is oh, in need oh, of love oh. today. What, what, what's the name? They go like, ooh, ooh, ooh. That love is in need of love today. Stevie Wonder. Love it. Yeah, love is in need it's of love. It's definitely in need of love. I'm going to go slick Rick. Hey, young world. Talk to the shorties. Whoa. 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 The world is yours. Hey, young world. You know that. Whoa. That's a good Man, I'm Man, and then I'm going to come home on number three. I'm going to go common for the people, for the pe people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Then, by me being down here in the A, I'm going to go, go outcast. Now, I'm going to say, Lord, did you hear them on this song? God, my heavenly father, crumbling herbs. Niggas killing niggas, they don't understand. I'm just crumbling herbs. You, I see you yeah. blowing one. <laughs> I see yeah. you just blowing one. You know you'll smoke me out, yeah. Lord. I can't hang with you. Hey, I purposely every you time are, I see already you already have them pre-rolled. Yeah. I said, you know, man, you got me over here in this LA. I'm about to, boy. I started. I smoked one of them blunts with you. I started walking up Crenshaw. talk. I said, man, I got, I can't, man, I gotta go for a walk. <laughs> Shit. Uh, uh, we got Stevie Wonder, Love is in Need of Love, Slick Rick, Hey Young World, Common for the People, Crumbling Herb, Outcast, and then what's that last? One? I gotta go home with it, bro. You know I gotta go home, but I'm gonna go home. What? Curtis Mayfield. Woo. Give me your love. Curtis, mm. I, I down here in Atlanta, I came up with his sons, Lil Kurt, Blaze, LeBron. So you yeah, down there? Was down on his when he was on his deathbed. Rest in peace, pops. I was in the basement with his sons. Now, wow, his sons. Now so they like Kurt Junior. He into oh, the music. 
we gotta address it. Y'all hear this history? Yeah, bro. Kurt. Yeah. We was Kurt, there. man. I and was then, over there at his house, man. Oh. Outcast and them was coming over there. Uh, Andre's three stacks and and, ben, and Benjamin. They was coming over there, and he was just like mentoring them. But I'm saying that's the crowd you in, and it's just like we finally got a chance to have an album to be like, no, nah, that I'm on that Chicago man. album. I'm on that. But these other people, I, I always been a fan of my city, man. Like you, I I was googling something on Bobby Gore for somebody, and you popped up. And I said, boy, we got a real representative from the holy city. You know, I, I, I'm, I got, I've been knowing Lord, Big Lord and them in Chicago for a long time before I came to Atlanta. People, yeah, yeah but, all the chiefs yeah. used to come out south. That's crazy. Of course they did. But here's another thing people don't know. See, everybody know the story, but don't nobody know that uh, Bobby Gore used to take Yeah, that's your own. I just that low. <laughs> but but that's why you that's why you so structured like that. <laughs> like I just let people keep keep that word. Boy, in, you know what I'm saying? Like, Google Lord and you popped up, and then I sent you on that bike. That one video is my favorite video to dark, you. Dark, dark city. city. You was on yeah. that bike rolling through the holy city. I said, I got to, I got yeah. to get in touch with Lord. I started getting on your heels. You've been, you been on my heels ever said, since. Lord, you rep. I got to be the vanguard for C because he he wearing Big Lord name. Oh, hey, look. I'm Can't so nobody proud. touch I'm him. I'm going to go crazy. That's it. It's 2014, y'all. I started rapping in 2014. The whole time I was producing the engineer, I officially started rapping in 2014. When I started rapping, Louis Lucian was when God say he sent his people, he won man. Them, boy. That's man, oh man. And you was rep you you, you representing the nation well. Because Thank Lord you, and them Lord. used to tell me, said, you're not an elite until you can talk to all the organizations. That's what makes you an elite. Oh. Ain't that then I just talk to all, ain't we all, all the all nations. Them? That's what makes you an all elite. Them. Come here. We talking. I'm talking to me and my son. And you got your time. son. You teaching him to. I don't know if he's Trust plugged you. or not, but you showing him. Oh, he getting yeah. he, yeah. he Lord, it. I started rapping. I this... started rapping in '85, though. Woo I came. I did my first show, Pink House, at the Riviera. The, the yeah. Theater. I was, I was, my big brothers and them, they had a crew called for all the shy people from the South. They was a vice lord and a GD together. They was called DMA. Daily motherfucking yes. assassin. Daily motherfucking yes. assassin. One was a vice DMA. lord, one was a gangster. And I, they let our crew, they, they let our crew open up for them at the Riviera. That's how I got in tune with the industry. And that Ever since then, you have been hooked. Look what I've been hooked. Rest in Lord. peace, Pink House. What's the up? So, what's the updates? What you working on? What you got going? I know you said you was in there working. I, you always that working with somebody. Record we got with MCA. We I'm about to mass blast it. Hey, I ain't gonna show y'all. I ain't gonna tell y'all. But hey, he said clips. This is going to be an animation. It's time. And because of that, and my word. I owe you on that too. Oh so man, you don't, don't owe me nothing. Too, Everything has already been given. <laughs> man, we get to it. Yeah. When we came, when I when you was out here in LA, we did it away. And when you we laid out the red there. carpet. Yeah, I mean you laying out the red yeah. carpet for the city, boy. I gotta be like palms up with that. Oh TV. That's why we once we do this show, that's when I I take all comments, all um, roses. And you finna but introduce me to the people I was listening to on KKC. I'm gonna be able to shake hands with some of these. Like, uh, uh, like oh, yeah, Lord, last crazy. night, I used to hear him on KKC. That booty bounce. Yeah. 45, <laughs> man. 
we, we wow. out. Yeah. I'm I'm sitting here like, oh my <laughs> gosh, this dude <laughs> got the legend. From the holy and from the holy. in wild style now, you know, I lost I was hanging with goddamn it, uh with, that's my big bro. With with my big bro. Big bro. Especially since my uncle passed, uh, like he said, Tyrone Malone. The Malone. Uncle Wayne used to talk to the, my, my, that, that's who my uncle Wayne wow, was. Wow, I was a shorty, so, though. Like, watching them do these little was, shows and shit. Hey, Fred <laughs> Fielders on Douglas. <laughs> on Super yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. I was always being Wayne. Stay in there. If you don't know about them the Red Fielders, I know. On, you had to be alive yeah. in there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it goes. I just don't be on fake back and forth flexing with niggas because it just be like, we don't even got to do it. You know, what I'm saying? you know what I'm saying? You know, on that king side album. He's, I had to carry all eat a certain way being from Chi-Town, right? Yeah, you, you, you bet, boy, you get your <laughs> hand cut off before. Yeah. You, know, you eat before we wash your hands. Hey. My mama in here right now, she'll tell you, my grand boy, he, you getting cleared. If you touch that food or even get close to that, that, that table and you ain't wash your hands. Look up my grandfather, though, man, and, and you, you'll yeah, see what cloth I come from. E.F. Ledbetter. He marched with Martin Luther King. Who your grandfather? E.F. Ledbetter. You know, when they changed those, some of those miles, we on my road. We got that one mile. That What's his name? Ernest Ledbetter. E.F. Ledbetter. That brown sign. E.F. Ledbetter. Yeah. We got, we got a street. It's a one-mile street on, on, on Monroe, right upside Metropolitan Baptist Church. The singer. Uh-uh. He was a minister, Baptist minister. He voted King into being the spokesman for the SCLC. He was back then. He yeah. brought a king into that. Brother, that's why yes, yes, yeah. that's my grandfather. That's my, yeah, my uncle. Him, huh? So he only had one son, which he's a minister uh, 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 over there uh, on the south side. Then my little cousin is Lee of Ledbetter the third. So they three generations of Baptist ministers in Chicago. L E D B E. T E R, y'all. Yeah. Let better. I'm a let better. So, Cry. You a let. Uh, yeah. Hard. But I'm, I, I only got oh, that man. one son like my grandfather. He had eight daughters. They all went to Marshall. The yeah, they Londell. They, they the community. My daddy went to Londell. Uh, my mama and her Duffield. sisters went to Marshall. But my grandfather, his he had one son, and I'm just like him. I had daughters. You got all them girls. One son. I'm, I'm done. I wasn't gonna have no and eight you, though. I wasn't gonna have no eight daughters and then have a son. <laughs> three piece, three and one. You went one, two, three. I almost gave one. up, that's and then my wife said, "I don't feel good," and we had a son. That's man. Cool. It's a lot. Uh, so before, we, as we get out of here, what's the updates, man? Like, don't update them. Let them know where to find you. Let them know to keep in touch with you. Man, that's know. that's Lewis Lucian on on YouTube. L o u i s l u c i e n. So I'm going into my new my real name now. I'm using I'm using that name. Coming out the Mr. Creep, which is stands for Creative Rapping Entrepreneur Entertaining People, but. That's coming That's up after that. What on you, on any on, on, remarks before we get out of here, bro? I, I just uh I wanna say you can hit me up on King Size E N T on all social medias. And then you know, I just wanna say to our people, we got the we got to build back the harmony of what Sha was. Let's get our harmony back, you know. And, and, we got a saying now, we set in love by the nickels, dimes, and 20s now. That's, that's what we do, start right. selling love. You know, bag it up like it was crack packs. Ain't that the, that's, that's why I don't know what's going to happen afterwards. 
But once we execute this first show, just one with no problems. Just one, one with, with no problems in Chicago. It's gonna happen. See, I the young, the young it is. people ain't clean. that far off. They be saying the short is this. They want, they want something good. And we from the short, and we from mm -hmm. the display it. Cause soon as do, you ain't the, scared the though, Lord. You just ain't scared. You a real nah, outstanding member, man. I, I'm gonna give you your flowers before we. Get up! I'm, uh, I brought this in the studio for you, purple rose. You know, cause you Thank blessed you. me on, on some you. of the. I'm a I'm the biggest fan. You blessed me as a fan to just be on the same album with the greats. I mean, I know I do my you, thing, but you ain't just hear your you ain't just hear your story. Yeah. How you not? Yeah, about? I heard you tell somebody else that. But you know we we ain't tooting our own horn, Lord. We we so we got everything to give. I know, but it's somebody's job to just be like, wait a minute, they not paying attention to the ones that's really the one. Yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna put it the one, the one. I kid you not. Ask Ask D Brown, y'all, the comedian. Yeah. He check the price. It was three bands. I got to live with this regret for the rest of my life. If y'all go listen to the song, Jody, that song, that beat was for Doug, mm -hmm. boy. I, I just didn't counter. Yeah. So having that and feeling that, I that's my one asterisk on this whole album. Because I knew this was a setup for two, I disobeyed God's order to put Duck on this album. And I gotta live with that for the rest of my life. So I'm going. You got you, go, you. It's already laid. You done. You done laid the ground foundation, man. We just gonna pile these little Build. bricks on this 21 and make it look and make it work. You feel me? And we shout out to the disciples. You know, I've been rocking like that a long time. Shout out to Bo. I see. I see count. Uh, Somebody I wish would come back and start rapping, Julio Inglewood. You know, I've been rocking with him a long time, but I wish he would pick that mic back up. He just, he like a lot of us don't he, like the industry. He, he will. I hope he I will. hope I can he get him back into moving and shaking. Yo, look at what he said. The story was cold and inspiring. It's amazing to see you you stand on all t Love, love y'all, man. Y'all look for me, man. Rosalind is out now. My my latest one. And we gonna end with with with, with uh Lewis Lucy's verse for the day, Jeremiah 119. They will fight you, they will. but they will fail. For I am with you and I will take care of you. I, Lord, have spoken. Deacon Gore. Deacon Gore. <laughs> Woo. And say that it, that it just embodied it, that what you yeah, said. That's me. That's me. But that's me. Yeah. I'm looking, yeah. Lord. I'm looking, yeah. Lord. We, you pulled up, you so pulled up ahead, to the Lord. crib. So Come back to the house, man, so we can go ahead and make these awesome records, make some more awesome records. I'm stamping it. The next time I'm there, I'm going to be with the Sindo. Wow, wow, wow. wow. I ain't going. going. With the first time I was there, who I was with? You, by yourself. And then the second son, time, son. who I was with? Yeah. I, I did. <laughs> yeah. So the third time, we I, you, probably, the you the part. third time you probably gonna come in here with all the acts. They gonna be like, "Hey, we over here at the bar, the okay. bar on the road." <laughs> watch, watch three. Watch, watch the ten three. Just know we coming. Come ten three. That EP get done. The ten man, three. Just know. Man, I can't wait. <laughs> yep. Oh, Love, man. Lord, in a minute. Yeah. I'm gonna go out. Yeah. I'm putting it first. Hey. I'm a man now. I've got a plan now. No time to sleep. No time to sleep. I rise to the side. 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 Yeah, we can keep this creep. They know me as creep. I'm coming with heat. Down the hill. Mowing for me. Hey!
In a minute, Lord, go and check out. I'm going to end you out. That's Jeremiah 119. That's his verse, right? Jeremiah 119. I'm finna go read it now. I'm finna go read it again. And get that whole chapter. That's hey, look, I'm, in yeah. I'm over here in it. Boy, I'm in it. I'm finna fire it up. All right. In a minute, Lord. Oh, oh, we got Buck, y'all. Buck from Psycho Trump. We sending it up tomorrow. Ooh. Big old city, big old city. Alright, mighty. GFM Radio, y'all. We go from there.